Greetings Jelly Spoons and welcome back to another episode of Monday Madness, the Monday show where I talk about anything and everything. I've been off for a little while, I've been in recovery, I am sort of coming back. I will try to stagger these a little bit because I don't have a great deal of time, but now that I'm happy and up and about and can actually think without it hurting my brain, I can do some video recording. So I was going to do you a Comic Con vlog, but I got to Comic Con and was so distracted by meeting amazing people and watching Critical Role panels and standing in a queue to go and meet Talazan and... Yeah, it, it just, I completely forgot to film anything. I have loads and loads of pictures, so go check out my Instagram for those, but genuinely and honestly, I completely just forgot to film. So there is no con vlog, I am sorry. So I knew I wanted to do a video today. I knew I didn't have a lot of time, and that meant I had to do something that I was already quite passionate about and could speak about without needing to plan it too much. And that leaves me with two things, basically. It leaves me with Peter Pan content, and it leaves me with cosplay. And I am gonna be talking about cosplay today, but I do have some fun updates for my Peter Pan content. It is moving. Much like my TikTok Peter Pan content, I have now made the Peter Pan Law its very own YouTube channel. I will put a link somewhere and in the description and stuff and in the comments I expect. So if you want to support me on that, I will still do some Peter Pan content here and I will leave all the videos in my Neverland Watch playlist up here as well. But I will be shifting from now on all my Peter Pan content over onto the Peter Pan Law YouTube channel. Very exciting! So what is today's video about on this channel? Well, I am going, as I said, for cosplay, and I have been inspired to do a quick little video about this because there is a series of videos and mostly stitches and replies to other videos going around the cosplay section of TikTok right now. And it's people talking about how you can't use upcycled and thrifted things to make your cosplay if you want to be taken seriously or predominantly if you want to take part in competitions. And I want to just speak on this because I think what they're saying is right, but it sounds wrong and I need to explain that because when I first heard it I nearly unfollowed someone because I thought they were saying the opposite of what it turned out they were actually saying so let's get into it. So first off the way that they've said it is wrong and that's what I took issue with to begin with because the sentence that's been used on TikTok is you can't use thrifted fabric to create a cosplay that is worthy of entering a cosplay competition and that's simply not true. <laughs> because I have placed and won in cosplay competitions where the judges knew that my fabric was thrifted. I told them in the meeting where you have with the little judges, the little one-on-one -on -one in the back room where they go round your outfit and you tell them everything about it and they ask all the questions. Every single judge on those panels knew that, and this was my molly coat at the time that won, my molly coat used to be bed sheets and curtains and that they were from charity shops because I told them. I was very upfront and honest and I said, well, this used to be a curtain, I got it from a charity shop, I cut it up, I made the panels and this used to be a bed sheet I cut it up I did this I did that so the very notion that thrifted fabric is not okay that's incorrect however what I think these people actually mean when they say thrifted and upcycled things can't be used for competitions is what they mean is you can't get a garment like a jacket from a charity shop and then repaint it or attach a buckle and then enter a cosplay masters or you know cosplay competition like that because you haven't made it yourself you have edited it and that's great and it's a good entry into cosplay hell it's how i started you know buying things and editing and hell i've edited this but that i think think i think and i hope that that's what they mean they don't mean you can't use you know cheap fabric you can't use thrifted fabric you can't use curtains or whatever what i think they mean is that you can't buy already existing items from a charity shop do nothing to them or the bare minimum to them and then claim that you have made it or wear it into a cosplay competition where they're going to be judging something that you didn't actually make that is what i am hoping all these people mean because they don't get into that bit in their video people just seem to be stitching this one video that goes I'm gonna say it, you can't use thrifted and upcycled things to enter a cosplay competition and then people are stitching it and they're agreeing or giving their takes or mostly talking about how judging works and things and while I find that very helpful and useful information particularly for beginner cosplayers and stuff uh, we also need to talk about the fact that you can use thrifted fabrics, you, you, you just can and I am living proof that you can win. In fact, you know what? Sorry, this is my medal and this is my trophy where I placed and I won in different cosplay competitions and this is the coat that I won with. This is my Molly Mort coat, it's the second one I ever made, I'm currently working on my brand new one, I did all that embroidery myself and I added all this. Every single piece of fabric on this cosplay came from a charity shop. So all of this, all of it was thrifted and I still won the competition and every single judge knew that it was thrifted fabric. And that is 
pretty much really all I came on here to say today. I don't have a great deal of time, I would love to get into this in more detail, but I have done other videos talking about cheap ways of doing cosplays, about how I, as someone who hasn't got really much of a budget at all, make things and experiment with stuff. I've talked about my experiences and different things to do with cosplay, so go check out my playlist, you can see a bunch more about that. But what I really wanted to say is that if you guys have seen any of those videos and been at all confused or put off, particularly if you've been put off by any of those videos, please don't pay them any mind. What I am hoping that most people are saying, and if they are not saying it, then they are wrong, is that you can't enter a competition about craftsmanship with something that you didn't make. But you can absolutely 100% thrift stuff and upcycle stuff and use it, as long as what you use it for is something you have created yourself. So for example, if you get a big dress, like I've bought these before from Traddy shops, like a huge big dress with a long train, and you cut it up and you use that fabric to make a shirt or a jacket or a pair of pants. In terms of a cosplay competition, that should be and is absolutely fine, because in that sense, you have taken the thrifted item, but you have used it as a piece of fabric. You have cut it up and turned it into something different. You haven't used a jacket and turned it into a jacket, if that makes sense. So if you have questions and thoughts, chuck them down in the comments below. But I do hope that, again, this is what the people on TikTok meant. They just seem to have forgotten to elaborate. And so I wanted to clear something up because it did make me very confused. And as I said, I very nearly unfollowed a few people because initially the sentence of you can't thrift things for good cosplay, it just makes you sound very unfriendly. And it's just not true. Again, it's just not true. So enjoy cosplay to any of you who are doing it. If you haven't started yet, if you're just getting into it, if you've been doing it for ages, keep doing it. Woohoo, it's amazing. Let me know what projects you're working on down in the comments below. I am glad to be back and I'll hopefully be doing another Monday Madness video and I'll be hopefully doing a Friday video over on the Pee Pan Law YouTube channel as well. All right, my wonderful jelly spoons. Be safe, be wonderful. Bye-bye.